Hey guys, Michael with the GM's library here, and uh, I wanted to share another video process here. So for one of my groups, I'm running the adventure um, Tales of Trees Tell, and for those who have played it, um, you know the, the final scene, and for those who have not played it, if you don't want a spoiler, then you should stop watching this video now. But um, there is a hag, Jenny Green Tea, and you find yourself traveling to her her humble abode deep in um, deep in the forest. So I wanted to create for my group a you know a nice polished map, um, and I've already kind of built out the the forest background here and the. Uh, kind of the center spot where for you know everything will be set up so um, based on the description the the forest itself is very dark uh, you can hardly even see the sky the sun uh, does not pierce through it's always dimly lit um, once you come to her clearing there are you know no trees in the area it's it's open it's beautiful it's always dusk though so it's always dimly lit here, but you can see the stars, it's probably much more beautiful and uh, and, and fantasy-esque. Um, I'm just playing with the size right now, and I, I don't want it to be too big of a clearing, so I'm going to just make sure that the forest is, is still pretty prominent, so if the group wanted to stealth their way through, that's okay. This feels like a good size. So um, what we know is there's a fire pit in the center. Uh, there's a house, and that's, I believe, most of the description that we actually get. Uh, I'm going to take some creative liberties and then run with it a little bit. But, uh, alright, I'm going to start with just some wooden walls, just to build a, a house. I'm going to put it back here. I'm actually going to add a little shape to it. So, um, I want it to be kind of off here and... Um, you know, not centered exactly, so let's try and get that like right there. Okay, that's almost perfect, so I'm going to take it. Alright, I'll put that there for a second. And this we are going to uh, have to rotate a little bit. Alright gonna link them back together and then we'll rotate them all right and we're gonna connect it like that this might not be a perfect square just yet I think I might have just made it worse all right okay that's, that's almost good so we'll see how it looks in a minute all right this one I'm gonna put over here this one I'm gonna all right Yep, that one needs to be fixed a little bit. It might work. It might pass for now. Um, and we'll, we'll leave it as is. All right. We need a nice, simple wooden door. We'll put it right on this wall here. Uh, when I'm doing these, I like to have... Um, one on the outside and then one on the inside as well. Oops. All right. That does not look ideal. All right. I'm gonna have to rotate it a little bit. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I am kind of a stickler for these small details here. Um, That's okay for now. It's not perfect, but it does indicate that there is a door there. All right. So inside, we need to have a nice wood flooring. Um, that wouldn't be too bad, but I'd love a better option. All right. We'll do this one here. Make that nice and small. A little bit smaller. All right. It's already looking much better. 
like a lovely little cabin. So we're just going to paint over some of the, the forest leaves that I threw in there. And make sure that we get all around. Okay, cool. So, so far we've got a Jenny's cabin. This door setup does not look good. I'm probably going to have to change that in a little bit, and that's okay. But next we need the fire pit. Um, Mm, this will come soon. Uh, okay, we'll do a simple campfire right here. That looks like a good size. We'll put it kind of nearby the house. Um, another thing, uh, you know, again, this might be a spoiler, just a warning. There, mm, I'll keep it general there are going to be cages with people inside uh, pretty much right on our house so the size of the cage depends on your own preference there isn't much of a specific there this is you know well over five feet so I think I'm going to keep it just a little bit smaller than this do two cages right there. Nice. All right, we got a couple cages. Um, all right, if you think about, you know, her and her needs, what she's got going on, she probably has some barrels thrown around, some supplies to help her cook her victims with. Also figure it's just you know things to hide behind if your party decides to sneak or if my party decides to sneak I'll throw a couple of random ones in here and put a couple there now uh, this scene does have something pretty important um, there the, the main thing that happens at, at this point is a, a dinner scene where you sit down and you talk to to the hag. Uh, it doesn't specify if it's inside or outside. When I read it my first time, I did it outside. It was right by the fire where she was cooking. Um, I think that's where I am going to keep it. A nice, uh, a nice outdoor picnic, if you will. All right. So... This is about five by 10 feet. In real life, that's a pretty decent sized table, but in this case, it doesn't fit that many people, but that's all right. Uh, you know, let me just make sure that it's where I want it. I want it to be near the fire. Near the fire, right there should be good. A lot of people to walk through and still have decent um, seat placement. That's another thing. Do we want um, actual chairs or do we want st stools? Let's do chairs. Oops. All right, now realistically, you could throw a couple more in uh, depending on your party size. Um, I have four in my party, so I'm only gonna do five seats just in case, you know, uh, they brought someone else <laughs> or if, you know, someone else is already there. Okay. All right. This is the fun part, designing the, the actual table. So, um, the food, oh, this I have to remember steam coming from the fireplace. Ah, you know what? While we're here, let's just throw the chimney in. The chimney is going to be attached to the the home. I'm going to move this over. We'll put it over here for now. And this is going to go right on that wall. I'm going to put it like that. Um, all right. 
so we are going to need some some smoke coming from that fireplace there and we'll put this in here but we want it to be the same size that looks decent enough okay so food Right, there's there's a lot that goes into this one. I, I know that we're going to need a chest as well. Um, she does have a candle flickering in the window. Um, however, I also want some food, so we're going to just add a couple more uh, sticker options here so that we can get the food. for uh, a lot of meat and a lot of stew specifically. I should be right in this area here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. So everyone at the table is going to get a nice bowl of, of the good stuff. Good. Let's throw a uh, um, let's throw a couple plates down. And the plates will be of some meat. Now it's not quite sure where the meat has, <clears throat> has come from. It's okay. It's probably the poor victims of, uh, of Jenny. Um, I'm gonna put a couple backpacks in here of the actual victims that she's had. Uh, fruits crates, this will be good. Um, I'm gonna try and set her up with an actual uh, decent looking abode. I just need to find the the beds, what color bed do you think Jenny would have? Maybe a shitty, or a, a lower quality one, but let's let's do this one. This one looks nice. All right. And I'm gonna just up the size of that one. We'll put it right here in the middle. Okay. That's going to shrink down, but uh, I do want to get a... Alright. I do want to move these backpacks over. They are going to be an important small feature, but... Okay. Alright. We got the table, and we'll throw a couple of chairs in as well. Here and one here. All right. What else do we need? Um, hmm. There had maybe. Oh, big pot. Yes, yes, yes. This is another important feature right over the fire. That's where she's cooking her, her victims. Yes, I want to get that smoke in here too, because that's going to be another important feature. Pretty much all that the uh, adventure really gives you in uh, in terms of, of decor and, and supplies. So from here on out, I'm going to just throw in some 
some freestyling. Um, I want to make sure that she is well equipped with food and her stores are, are set. Alright, she's got these, uh, these set up pretty well, pretty neatly around her house. No one's going to attempt to steal from her. Okay. And we are going to put a candle right at the uh, right at the table where we can imagine the the window is coming through or the, the light is coming through the window. Right there, but much smaller. Oh, that's as small as it can go. But that's fine. It'll have to do. Alright. So she's killed these adventurers, she's taken their backpack, stacked them against the wall. Nice. We do need a chest in there that is specifically mentioned. I like these. And in case the party wants to break it open, we'll, we'll take this and we'll, we'll put it over here. With her, uh, you know, amassing loot. Oops. Okay, all right. So the cooking pot is looking good. Um, all right, let's let's fill up the surrounding area with trees. That's going to be another important factor here. Okay. All right. So these are um, meant to be nice and large it's a the forest is you know the trees are so big that it's hard to actually see the um the sun while you're in it so so we want it to be viable okay i see that i touched some stuff over there so i'm gonna just so I'm just doing some aggressive <laughs> aggressive clicking to make sure I get the random stamps. Like I think I could just drag it, but it doesn't really change the Okay, we got a couple of those. I do want to get some of uh some of the conifers in. That's hard to tell, but that's okay. Alright, so I haven't done a lot of, I'm going to have to save it in a hot minute, but I haven't done a lot of mist work yet, but that could be another, uh, another fun thing to try. Alright, and then we got some bushes surrounding the area too. But I'm going to actually get rid of these here. Keep this clear. We could use that modified smoke to create a mist effect, but I want to see if we can do anything better. Hmm. This could be an interesting uh, little touch. Um, as it gets closer to her in her domain, you start to see these strange colored um, bushes around the house. Red. Okay, and now it's my game of kind of just looking and seeing what I can find. Clouds could be good. I wonder how that would work. All right, let's just test it out and see if I were to throw this down. Yeah, it actually kind of looks like a cloud, so I'm not going to leave. I'm not going to use that. I think I'd rather use the smoke. Um... She might have a weapon rack and a bookshelf that kind of shows what she's been taking, but I'm not sure. All right, she's definitely going to have a couple corpses in here. Okay, um, let's drop in 
down a layer. All right, so now it actually looks like there's people in there. That's pretty exciting. Um, so those are people that have specifically traveled in. She's probably not killing a lot of people. She might be, but it's tough to say. It's tough to say because um, if you've you know gone through the story, you have this this pact. People are really trying not to break it. So um, I want to be careful with how many bodies I put in there. Scarecrow did come up, up at one point. Oh, I could see her having some degree of, of alchemy supplies going on. So maybe we'll do a table in her in her home and uh, and include some of that. So let's let's head back up to, to the tables. All right, we'll take this one. small one though. One that she kind of just stands at and uh, does her thing, if you will. Okay, I think it was further down than this. No, I'm wrong. Yes, okay, here it is. Alright, so I don't think we could, you know, actually call her a, you know, a wizard, but yeah, she probably has a map of the surrounding area. She's involved heavily with this, with this pact. Uh, so let's drop a couple potions here. Maybe they'd even be poisons, you know? Nice. Okay. That looks good. That looks really good. Magic orbs, brains. You know what? You could honestly throw a scroll down just in case your party is expecting loot like, like mine probably is. Nice and random so it just looks natural. So that's, that's her house. She's got the chest fireplace it looks alive with the smoke a couple prisoners we've got the fire pit we've got the area where they're going to um, be served uh, the, the, the dinner is there anything else that we need to include here I've got a lot of tree work it's not too big I, I like to include environmental pieces that the party can use to get creative um, I had, I had one, uh, one character used his mage hand to scoop up some embers and, and throw it at her. So I want to give the same opportunity to this group. Um, rocks, dungeons, let's, let's keep scrolling a little bit and see. <laughs> Creepy trees. I'm going to go back to Elvin because she is a member of the Fae here. But this is actually not really. Um, no steampunk, no ship, no frigid north. Uh, these do look really cool. They don't apply to this one specifically, but I do like that. 
Oh yes, we wanted the, the smoke effect. Not the smoke, the, uh, the steam. Um, all right, let's see what we can do here. this steam okay okay yeah we've got we've got steam options so I'm gonna just try and kind of surround the area with it This one has like a like a nice circular look. This might have been the best call. Yeah, let's um I just haven't figured it out yet. All right, I'm going to throw a little bit more so it looks a little bit more natural. as we move. So now the fun part is trying to grab this one here that I just understand that this is a, a light mist surrounding the area. Um, maybe we'll move the fireplace over a little bit, give them some space. We could put it right here so she doesn't have to walk too far from her house. And while we're here, let's fix this door. just be the, the general mess up that I made with the uh, the overlap that's kind of visible to me. So it is not going to be perfect. <clears throat> but zoomed out you can hardly tell. Not really now, just hyper focused on it, but it's okay. All right. Um, you know what? One more thing we'll do. We are going to take this here. Not that. stamps just to see if there's anything I'm missing. Sparks, no, that's all lovely, but maybe in a future video I'll, I'll add some sparks and snow. Uh, we don't need any rocks, don't need any cities, no castles. Um, you know, to be honest, I, I think it's 
think it's set. You know, we could always add some some mushrooms, but you know, it's really these small details. So, what's it mean to an adventurer if, as you uh, approach an open area, you see mushrooms and, and a lot of red weeds? Pardon that, that horn outside. Uh, she probably wouldn't need a rug, no stove, she's got the, uh, the pit. No stables. You know what? Just for the eerie feel, I do like the idea of throwing some skeletons out back. Like, I wonder if they'd even notice them. You know, just partially buried uh, skeletons out back. Isn't enough. All right, and let's just make sure that we drop them down the ladder, partially covered by the uh, by the trees. All right, we're gonna save it as Jen. Green Teeth's Cove. All right, so I will uh, include this map on the website. I probably will not keep it named Jenny Green Teeth's Cove, um, but you know it's a definitely at least a simple campsite. If you guys like it, give it a download. Um, check out my website. Check out my other videos. I really appreciate you know. Even just, even just the small views, but um, like and subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.